Vegas Where the lights they shine so bright upon in Las Vegas More than a strip it's a way of life Thanks. Okay, he was once dubbed as People Magazine's hottest bachelors. Now he's got a new CD and he's going to perform it at the Las Vegas Pride Festival this weekend. Here to tell us more about that and his new CD is Matt Zarley. Matt, how's it going? Doing great. How you doing? Excellent. Good. Excellent. So you're excited yeah. to be in Vegas for the very, Gay Pride uh, Parade yeah. and Festival? Very much so, yeah. I'm okay. to be back here, yeah. Absolutely. Tell us, though, uh, real quick about the uh, Bachelor uh, for People Magazine <laughs> and what's so special about your bachelorhood? Um, at the time, this was in 2002, uh -huh. I was uh, named by People Magazine to be the first openly gay man in, in their uh, bachelor okay. issue. So it sort of paved the way for, um, for guys, you know, years after that to be named. So yeah, absolutely. the first time. So I was a trailblazer, I guess. I love it. So yeah. congratulations on that. Thanks. And also, I mean, and this, you know, we don't know what could have happened if David Archuleta yeah. would have won. He was the runner-up on, on American Idol. Right. Uh, your song was the one that was that his that his fans were voting for for him to sing but he didn't win right so david cook won right okay yeah but that's exciting it was exciting it was kind of a crazy time it was very unexpected mm -hmm. it was um the title song off of my album that was coming out that summer okay and um a friend of mine um said you know you really should submit the song to idol he worked on Idol, so I submitted it just sort yeah. of blindly, and it was chosen by the producers as one of the finalists. So isn't that crazy? It was I crazy. Mean, so, yeah. um, you know, the, the word was is that if he would have won, the song would have won. I don't right. know if that's true, but you that's know what? It's almost it's better to not know. I mean, it, you could, yeah. Sorry, the, the what if is the best part. Exactly. You know? So, so that's cool. Uh, wait. So, were you? I'm looking right here at the notes. Um, Joseph and Tommy on Broadway. I was. And in Chorus Line. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, Chorus Line was my first show on Broadway. I did it when I was 19. Okay. So it was just a couple years ago. And um, <laughs> and uh, I went on to do Joseph and Tommy. Did you have an amazing Technicolor dream coat? I did. I did. <laughs> it was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah, okay. I did, I did that for about a year and a half, so. Okay. Yeah. Talk about the new CD. Yeah, the new CD uh, just came out about f oh, almost four weeks ago. Okay. Now. Um, I wrote all the songs on it. Um, the first single did really well. It's getting ready to break the top ten oh, wow. in the UK. Okay. Um, I'll be performing that tomorrow, as well as a couple other songs from the from the album, and then another song that I I recorded for the Trevor Project a remake of Pat Benatar's We Belong. Oh, I love that song. So I'll be uh, re I'll be doing that tomorrow as well. And um, yeah, it's available iTunes everywhere. Matt, isn't that kind of it, I mean, uh, an American songwriter and singer, yeah. isn't it kind of like, do, are you frazzled like all of a sudden it's bigger in a different country first? And yeah. then all of a sudden, you know, it's like weird how that works. Yeah, it's, you know, well, the UK is a totally different market yeah. than the US. It's a much broader market. Okay. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's tricky to break a male artist in the US. It's kind of yeah. odd. But uh, in the UK, it's, they're much more embracing of the male artist. So, okay. the, you know, it's doing, doing really well over there. So, have a great yeah. weekend. Thank and you. And good luck with the Thank CD. You. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, more. We'll be back right after this.